and we are we are go for launch. The camera gets real dark like that because uh, Falcon 9, when it goes, will become very bright. Sure enough. Under 20 seconds. Here we go. And liftoff of Falcon 9 from Slick 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. It's cleared the towers. And let's listen in and hear those Falcons, or Merlins, roar. Finally. This is the interesting part. We're going to see if this rocket actually breaks into the sunlight. Can it get high enough that the sun is shining on it, even though it's locally dark? That's what creates that big plume effect. Cross your fingers. Yeah, Vehicle has what we get. pitched down range. It is heading south into orbit. over a minute and a half from launch. You can see the exhaust plume expanding as it climbs higher and higher into thinner atmosphere. I always love that shock wave that develops in the exhaust there, like part way down. It just looks like a giant mock diamond. A shower head almost. Yeah, right? <laughs> Saturn, Saturn V did a similar kind of thing and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, Jack, does that look like this looks great. sunlight on that plume? It does. This looks it really does. Very, this is looking very promising. Falcon 9 practically glowing. Wow. Look at that. Look, look at, at that. that. What a view. Oh, stage set. Yep. There we go. You can nice. see the first stage boosting back. The plume from the first stage interacting with the plume from the second stage. What a sight. Wow. But in the center of the screen is going to be the booster doing its boost back. The second stage would continue on down the bottom off the right of the screen there. Look at this. Yep, and there you can see both. You can see both at the same time. Once the fairings separate from the second stage as well, that will be uh, an additional thing we can watch. Those should be illuminated by the sunlight as well. Look at that. I'm excited for everybody that is on the ground right now out there in Florida who is getting a chance to see this with their own eyes. It's truly something special. These don't happen that often. Look at those control Firings. thrusters. Yes, the control thrusters. <laughs> yes. So those aren't even the main engines right now. Those are the uh, cold gas thrusters that help orient the rocket. That's the booster um, orient it for reentry, coming back down for the RTLS. And you can see the cold gas thrusters pulsing. Look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is why we were so keen on this launch. Call. All of this always happens. Like when it's an RTLS, these things happen. The thrusters fire, the plumes interact, but most of the time we can't see them. It's either too dark up there because it's full on night, like way past sundown, or it's too bright in the middle of the day and we can't see this. And this is the, it's the Goldilocks zone for these sort of images. 
where the sun is lighting up those exhaust plumes, but it's nice and dark down here on the ground, so we really get that resolution of those puffs. That is the coolest thing. It's just, it's perfect for visualizing the fact that our whole atmosphere is a massive fluid, and these little puffs aren't just located to the little spot where you can see, you know, the gas coming out of the thruster a few feet or inches from the vehicle itself. It's a, it has a whole entire interaction with all of the material around it as it flies back in uh, from launching that second stage. Yeah. We've got quite a few cameras covering it here right now. Michael keeps switching uh, angles to different views, but multiple cameras on those thruster firings, it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. So now that first stage is heading back towards the launch site. And the show ain't over, folks. We are going to get this thing coming back in, and it should be awesome. And more importantly, perhaps, sound awesome. So keep an ear out for those triple sonic booms, which will be coming up as uh, Falcon 9 gets close to land. But we still got some light show in store, it looks like. Now remember, it will eventually descend back into the darkness. Like it's up there, the sun is peeking over. It's daylight where Falcon is up there, and the sun is peeking over the curve of the Earth, lighting it up. But eventually that spot should disappear as it descends into the shadow of the Earth. But as of right now, we've still got a fantastic... If I had to guess, I, I think this is Steve's cam. Michael, is this Steve, or is this the cape? <laughs> this is the cape. This is Chris. No kidding. Chris is killing it. Yeah. It's always a tough decision. Like, the two pieces separate, and the second stage keeps going, and the booster starts coming back, and you're like, oh, which do I track? But uh, this time of day, with this sort of visual, I think the booster is really the right thing to keep track of. It's coming in hot, and there is the entry burn. <laughs> it's going backwards. You know, just flying through my own fire, no big deal. The plume is going up past the body of the booster instead of down, like normally it goes from behind. And shut down. Look at that. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. All right, so that first stage will come closer and closer to land and fire up its engines one more time. Landing at the landing zone there in Cape Canaveral. Look at this. This is 100% gorgeous views. Michael, is this the camera way down south? Nope. So, folks, this is our friend uh, Dr. WD40. He's a friend from Twitch. And he does some IRL streaming out there, but he's on a Nikon P1000 way down south. Oh, look at this. Here's Steve. This is Chris. Okay. <laughs> it's a good problem to have to have so many cameras. Here we go. Let's see if it sticks to landing. We'll listen in here as well. Nice, Michael. There you go. And it stuck the landing, as expected. <laughs> I think I hear some people in the background giggling the from the sonic in the boom. background, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So the first stage is down, and the second stage is continuing its work to push CSG2 into orbit, which should be finishing up shortly. How awesome was that? I don't know. You you tell me. You're the one that saw it. Oh, my gosh. The whole time, you guys, the rumble.